morning, everybody. This is Game Type here, and I'm here with Mega Man 2. And right now, I'm going to replenish up my one and a random uh, thing of my choosing. Let's choose quick. There we go. Um, uh, of my choosing. And all right, here we are at Wily Castle Stage Four. We uh, in the last episode, we defeated the Guts Dozer to get to this stage. And, uh, it was super simple and very easy. And this stage looks pretty easy, you know. But don't let you get fooled by that, because look at this. Yeah. You have no way of knowing. I'm pretty certain that there's no real telltale signs. Post a comment or something or anything to help me out on that fact. Well, you know, I guess it wouldn't really help me out exactly right now, because this so I'll already have this entire game recorded before I even post one video. But either way, you know, I'm just gonna drop down and get that. Uh, but, you know, yeah. But actually, if you could leave a comment, though, that would be pretty cool for other people watching this video. Because, as it stands now, I cannot tell if there's any difference at all. But, uh, yeah. But alright, anyway. Here we're just going to continue on this level. It's... Easy, but at the same time, not easy. And then it gets super difficult, and you'll see whenever that happens. And, yeah. Yeah, just trust me. This has to be, like, the most one, the one that makes me the most unhappy about this game. But anyway, here we go. I, I can't remember if this is completely safe or if it's not. Okay, now this right here, I'm going to do a save state. Because these spikes are instant kill! Oh. Okay. Cool. Now, do I want to go for that? Yes, I do. You know, I'm going to try the quick boomerang, see if it works, and like, uh, as it doing that. Nope. Alright, now here we go. Now I'm just going to continue on and actually do this for real. Alright, so that's where it is. Alright. So I'm just going to put my mouse over that. and I don't think that you can see my mouse. I'm just going to put that over where I need to jump. So if I'm standing still, that's why. Balls. Balls. It's not helping. Yarr! Yeah, screw this. If you know how to get that E tank, good for you. Just going to say that in the most mean way possible. Good, good for you. Because I am completely clueless on how. But anyway, here we have one of these sections, like from that one stage. You know that that one. It had the uh, cool music and the uh, really dickish vertical sections. Yeah, yeah, you remember that, right? Good times. Good times at that stage. The boss was really easy. I'm talking about Crash Man, if you didn't know, I mean. But if you if you couldn't tell, then, you know, how? How couldn't you tell? But anyway. Oh, balls. Now, this is the point where uh, doing that little uh, ladder drop thing is actually a bad idea. But uh, what you gotta do for that is you gotta time your drop, what you gotta do here is you gotta time your jumps, and then you gotta go up at the right time, otherwise you're deader than fried chicken. Alright. And I'll just drop a save state right there. I'll drop a razor down there for ya. And another one, because you seem to love them. You know, by how these guys look, you wouldn't imagine that they'd be even affected by the uh, Metal Man power-up. But they actually are, and they're killed by it in one hit. And to be honest, that really confused me, because I didn't use it whenever I, uh, on them, because, because of how they looked. So I guess it's just kind of crafty, uh, crafty enemy design. Or actually, I don't know what they call that, but you know. Either way, it tricked me, and I might just be a complete dull. Uh, oh! That's that thing that got me. Yeah. Anyway, here we go. Yes! I feel like Captain Falcon. 
Alright, now to kill these guys. Hit and jump. Hit and jump. Hit and jump. Because that's my strategy against these guys. Just hit and jump. Not certain why I wasted that. Okay, now this is what really makes me angry about this stage. Okay. You've got these guys. They only have one weakness, and that's Crash, which I have done a good job at keeping it full. And you can see that they've, they're they defended by all these things, and they'll blink, and then they'll shoot a little thing at them. They're nice enough to be, like, unlike the other bosses, and they have, like, an actual thing where you can tell whenever they're about to strike and all. But, uh, in other ways you can't somewhat can't tell because it's blinking the crap out on my computer but all in all you want to save five shots at least now I'm going to be a wuss and I'm going to use an e-tank go back to crash drop a save state now, actually, my experience with this stage now, with this game, is actually incredibly recent, because today was actually the day that I beat this boss, and yeah. Balls. Okay, now I'm just going to drop another save state right there after getting hit pretty stupidly. Dang it. Dang it. There we go. Oh, balls. There we go. Bam. Boom! You are dead! Ha not even half the trouble that the, that the blah blah blah. But otherwise, if you don't know how to take down this boss, it's going to be a bitch. A legitimate bitch to take down. Good god, I rage quit the first time that I hit that boss, but yeah. Now he's dead, and now, yeah. Okay. Now, here we go. This is a gauntlet stage. Basically, we gotta kill all eight doors. Lucky guess is what is behind each one. But, uh, alright. Here's how this is going to go. I'm going to equip the Metal Man power-up. And I'm going to take down this one first. Oh wait, crap, 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 this, uh, crap. Uh, I'm just going to do the, uh, outro right here, because I forgot that I had just beaten the stage. Okay, so, this has been game type, and standard definition on the next level, accidentally. Um, so, I'll meet you back on this level, in the same exact spot, uh, next time on Mega Man 2. So, I'll see you... All then. Alright. Goodbye. See you next time. Yeah.